It's too hot for hair. Shave all your hair before you come. Just do it. We made it through security. Barely. We're very happy the GoPro batteries made it. Yep. Thank you so much. Yeah, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Okay guys, we just exchanged some cash for pesos. The Indy Airport couldn't do that, but the Charlotte one does. Uh, we were told that that's what we should do going into Mexico, so we hope we did it right. We made it to Cancun! Hey guys! We just made it to Cancun. No, thank you. No, we're good. So, as you can tell, as you can everyone wants to sell us a taxi yeah. ride. It's If you can look over there, the swarm is real. They warned us. Just keep your head down on the plane. They didn't have custom forms for us, so we had to scramble when we got here and fill out custom forms while we were in line. That was kind of crazy, but we made it. Our taxi is way at the end and might run a little lakes traffic, but we're here. I'm about to put my bucket hat on. Oh, made it. We'll keep you guys updated. Party, we are on our way to Tulum, hopefully soon. Bye. Yeah. Finally made it to Maria Del Mar, so we're going to give you a room tour. I'm sitting here editing our honeymoon video. I just wanted to give a disclaimer that this was the very first time we ever used a GoPro and we had no idea what we were doing and had it in widescreen for a very long time and so that's why it's all distorted and weird because we had no idea. Continue. This door is kind of hard to unlock. Bridge key. Like it? Nope. Cut it. Come on in. So, here is the bedroom. The big bed. We have little beach towels that they'll refresh every day. And coffee. And a cot. And then they have our little purified water and they bring a new one every morning when they clean. And it's super air conditioned and they gave us a little beach bag we can use and bathrobes, and then the bathroom is so cool. Look at this shower. It's giant. <laughs> yeah, this bathroom is awesome. This bathroom is just absolutely massive. It's just for unnecessarily no big. No <laughs> Yay! Now we're gonna go explore. Guys, look at this. We can literally see the ocean from our room. We haven't walked around yet. This is so exciting. Ooh. <gasps> Look at these hammocks. Nice. Nice. Justin will be found here all day. Here's our very own pool. Really nice. Excited for that. Stop. Look at this adorable little reading nook. 
probably won't be doing any reading, but it's a cute idea. You can take a nap in a canoe if you want. There's little swings and a hammock and little canopy beds. Wow. Wow. Lots of seaweed. May not be getting in the water. We'll just hang out <laughs> in the pool. <laughs> that was one thing we heard about Tulum, that there's usually a lot of seaweed in the water, but that's okay. Just the view. changing moment, monumental moment in our relationship. Lydia has found an alcoholic drink that she likes. Wow. This is incredible. I have never liked an alcoholic beverage. This is so good. Our first food. Taquitos. This is a super cool rooftop bar. Good morning, guys. What is it? Day, it's official, well, day, day two. two. We got here yesterday. It's like 11. Like 11. Slept in. It's like a little rainy today, but we're gonna try and go to this breakfast place that we saw Bryn and Lou go to. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Tunic. Tunic. It looks really good. And yeah. it's like just down there so we can walk. But yeah, it should be rainy today, so I'm not we're not really sure what we're gonna do. We'll kinda make the best of it, but yep. okay. Bye. Okay guys, we got our vitamin C punch smoothie. How is it? Dude. Is it good? I've not had papaya flavor, like actual papaya flavor in so long. Well that is good. <laughs> Yum. I got the classic breakfast. It's like eggs and sausage and avocado and toast. Yeah, and I got acai bowl. They made us take our shoes off. A very like holistic healing place. It's very expensive. Service for dinner. Hee <laughs> hee. Look how yummy it looks. And we got dulce de leche. And so the ice cream is like melting, so we're gonna eat that first. We're gonna eat the ice cream first. We've never ordered room With service a fork. before. Oh, it looks so good. So we got mandarin and pina colada. Yum. Taste it, taste it. Okay, here we go. Is it good? It like pops. Really? Yeah. Thank you, Aldo's. So you need your French toast. Look at this mountain of French toast. We have sugar covering it and these cinnamon apples, which they gave us for their dinner last night and they're fire. We just wanna talk about this again. This little glass of water anywhere will run you 30 to 50 pesos yeah. for one glass and of water. And there's like a ton of ice in it. So it's really like probably- This was 70 pesos. Right across the street. It's gonna last us forever. And the hotel only refills your bottle once a day. And they haven't even come through and yet, so. Yeah. Go to the market and grab this. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the Tulum ruins. Took a taxi here. It was only 80 pesos per ticket. It's only four bucks to get in, so we would definitely do it. Lots of people here today. Yeah. So the guy at the front was trying to get us to buy a more advanced ticket because he said we'd have to wait in line for 30 minutes. Literally five. Not even. Not even five minutes, so just buy the basic ticket. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm neat. <laughs> okay, guys, if you want to visit the ruins, really cheap, pretty cool. It's so inexpensive here as well. It's, it's really hot. Make sure you buy water and bring it because they'll try to sell it to you, but it's really upcharged. Taxi running about 250 to get out here from like the beachfront. 250 pesos, obviously not $250. That would be crazy. <laughs> I don't know if I want to take a bite yet. to the excursion. The Extreme Adventure Tour was definitely our favorite day of our honeymoon. If you'd like to see the full day and everything that was included in this tour, head on over to our YouTube channel, Midwest to Mediterranean, to check it out. Hey, have a good time. Yeah, Welcome thank you to guys. Mexico. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. The very next day we went on another excursion to go swimming with whale sharks. The day ended up being completely different from what we expected so if you'd like to see this chaotic excursion head on over to our YouTube channel as well to catch the full video. Good morning everybody. We have just spent our second night in Hotel Blanco. Have decided to just go for it and take the long walk to go towards the main strip of Tulum so we can try to find some coffee and breakfast. There's not much around Hotel Blanco. So we're going to do that real quick. Apologize for the mess. This is at the end of our stay. But let's start in the bathroom. It's small, but it's definitely everything you really need. The shower is nice. I will say there are many amenities lacking. No hand soap, no hand towel. They gave us two beach towels, but they'll give you fresh ones if you ask for new ones. And then all they gave us was a little shampoo bottle and then body lotion. So we definitely had to break out our own toiletries for this stay because there's no body wash, no hand soap, no hand towel, but I did appreciate the hair dryer. That was nice. Plenty of toilet paper. And once you get these floors wet, they stay wet for a very long time, which is just really annoying. <laughs> and when but they came in here, they just like mopped. It so was it's just, just like disgusting. Just um, okay. Anyways, so here's the main part. Here's our bed. They gave us a nice napkin as a comforter mm -hmm. we were freezing the first night but i guess it's not a bad problem to have because you can just change the air over here we have a fridge which was awesome because we went to the grocery store and was able to keep some meat and cheese in there they have a little spot for coffee however they don't provide anything for the coffee so you have to bring your own coffee things to make coffee a safe as always two little side tables the bed not super comfortable and there were some questionable stains on the sheets and Justin like busted his finger on this <laughs> rock headboard. Yeah. Anyways, and then we just have our little porch out here, a TV, it's only $50 a night, it's safe. There was a guard out there at 5 a.m. I think there is one all night. Wasn't the most comfortable, but it's safe and mainly clean if you're just kind of passing through. Not a lot of quick access anywhere either. You kind of have to walk a little bit to get anywhere, but there's a grocery store right across the street. So if you're passing through and just want a quick, easy, cheap, safe place to stay, this would be it. It is also very loud here. The hallways are super loud. There was someone sweeping right outside our door for like 30 minutes. <laughs> 
and we were trying to go to bed and then every morning we woke up to construction and you can hear every single sound on the street. It's kind of just a hotel for all like the college students, young adults, yeah. bachelors, bachelorettes, whatever, who are just kind of passing through Tulum. Um, don't really plan on like, you know, staying in, in the room as much as we did because we did both the excursions and then kind of had to hunker down here. Um, so if you want to stay here, like if you, if you really want like a home base, this is not probably the hotel for you just because amenities are not super great. There's just some basic things that are kind of lacking. Coming from Maria Del Mar, like we had like a really, really, really good experience. So I think that that yeah. also maybe like damaged how we saw this hotel in particular. Yeah, it's exactly what you pay for. Yeah, So I will not miss you, Hotel Blanco, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's Hotel Blanco <laughs> for you. Wow. There's no one here. No one here. Okay, we're trying to crack open our coconut. Nice. <gasps> Yay. Can nice. we eat it? Yeah. <laughs> it's coconut. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Torrential downpour and Lydia is in the pool. Get out. Get out. Come on, babe, it's not safe. It's not safe, you're up at the top of the roof. Found a grocery store right across from our hotel. This giant thing, 34 pesos. We got about half of that for 70 pesos. All right guys, we're collecting pastries. So you take these tongs and a platter and you just go around and collect what you want and take it over and weigh it. <laughs> Hydrate or die, Good morning. It is about 7.30. I'm just too excited to sleep. Last night, we decided we wanted to switch things up, do something fun for our very last night on the honeymoon. And so we just started Googling things and we decided we want to go to Cancun so we're closer to the airport on the day we have to leave. And we found this all-inclusive resort called the Crown Paradise Club. We booked it, we got a hold of a taxi service last night. They're gonna pick us up today, take us there, and we're gonna check out and go to Cancun for the last night. Cat, but that's all right. We'll see. But we'll see. <laughs> so we'll, yeah, I'm excited to see when we get up there. First, of course, the bathroom. It looks really nice. They have all the little hand soaps and towels, shampoo, body wash, and this is the shower. Plenty of towels up here, which is awesome. A little makeup mirror, even right there. Hair dryer. It looks great. I'm excited. In here is just a closet. We have an ironing board and a safe in this closet. And then we accidentally booked a room with two beds. <laughs> so 
giant TV. We have coffee, a little fridge, some drawer space. And they said we had an awesome view, which is true. This is awesome. Don't know what these are. We're excited. <laughs> chocolate mousse thing. Oh, chocolate mousse. That's more of a cake. Tastes like a cosmic brownie. But it's good. The wind is slightly annoying. <laughs> Pretty good last day in Cancun though. This bag of Doritos. 179 pesos. That's almost ten dollars. It's not even the full size bag. Uh, what we have uh, right here guys is uh, Airbus A320 uh, Neo actually. See those those beautiful winglets out there. GE engines. Uh, this model was first launched in uh, 1984, uh, re re redone and uh, re-released in 1987. Uh, what I really love about this plane is uh, is the sleek nature of the of the plane, the enhanced legroom, and most importantly, uh, the great efficiency and reliability of the plane. Uh, just be absolutely just stunning aircraft all around. There are so many incredible things to do in Tulum, so be sure to plan plenty of time for your visit to the stunning destination. Take a mud bath in a lagoon. <laughs> Did the bike through the jungle to see it. Yeah. Rent a day bed at a beach club. What? Like rent a, like a chair. Like <laughs> <laughs> Ride a bicycle. <laughs> Get in the water. <laughs> That's it. There's nothing to do here. <laughs>